But one characteristic feature of the loss of smell in COVID-19 is that it doesn't come with running nose or stuffy nose or blocked nose and the cough is not there or just dry. And so you wonder, you find it difficult to link the fact that you can't smell properly and when your nostrils are clear. Can the loss of taste and the loss of smell be a symptom of COVID-19? Is it possible that you have COVID-19 when you have lost your sense of smell or your sense of taste and you find it difficult to smell or to taste? Is it possible? Short answer, yes, it is possible. It can be a symptom of COVID-19. Long answer, well, watch to the very end of this video if you want to know how, if you want to know other possible causes of the loss of taste and loss of smell and how to know if it's temporary or permanent and what to do if you discover that you find it difficult to smell or difficult to taste. Serious matters. <laughs> And by the way, the links to everything I will be saying today, the research and the studies will be in the description section below. Now, generally, respiratory infection, especially the upper respiratory infection, now meaning that infections that affect the respiratory tract that you use for breathing, especially the upper part, things like common cold or flu can affect your sense of taste and your sense of smell. Interestingly, in COVID-19, the loss of smell can occur suddenly without any other obvious cause of the loss of smell. And sometimes for COVID-19, the loss of taste is added to the loss of smell, especially because the sense of taste and sense of smell are closely linked and closely related. But one characteristic feature of the loss of smell in COVID-19 is that it doesn't come with running nose or stuffy nose or blocked nose and the cough is not there or just dry. And so you wonder, you find it difficult to link the fact that you can't smell properly and when your nostrils are clear. Granted, there are other causes of difficulty in smelling or anosmia or inability to smell. Things like smoking, injury, drugs, cancer, radiation, and chemicals, and so on. But I'm taking it for granted that you are very sure none of these are the causes of your loss of sense of smell and taste. And so most likely we're dealing with COVID-19. But the good news here is that the loss of smell in COVID-19 may be a potential indicator that we are dealing with a mild case of COVID-19, right? So we've discovered that for people who have the loss of smell or the loss of taste, they usually end up with the mild form of the disease and don't have the severe form, right? So it's sort of like a good news if you have this loss of smell or loss of taste, which is usually temporary. It means that you have contracted the mild form of the COVID-19. I hope that's clear. And by the way, if you're finding this video very helpful and you're liking the video so far, do well to hit the like button now and I will deeply appreciate that. Like now, like now. Thanks. But how do you check correctly if you have really lost your sense of smell or lost your sense of taste or you're just assuming and then just in your head hallucinating? How can you verify? How can you check? For smell, you look for something that has a sharp smell or pungent smell like onions or scented soaps or scented body creams and actually try to smell it. For taste, you could go for something very sweet like honey or sugar, something salty like salt, something sour like an unripe orange or something bitter like coffee, black coffee or bitter leaf or bitter cola and actually taste. So if in any form you find it difficult to really appreciate the smell or the taste of any of these, most likely you've lost your sense of smell and your sense of taste. So is this temporary or permanent? Well, for most people, it is temporary. And so you will recover in a few days time. But some persons, few persons, eventually get to have this permanent loss of taste and permanent loss of smell. That's kind of scary. However, we know that some persons are born this way. Like my grandfather, for, for example, has this natural anosmia. Like he was born without the ability to smell. And so he lived his entire life 
without smelling. So it is possible that some persons are born that way. However, if you weren't born that way and you lost it, most likely you recover it if it's infectious. But for few persons, they go on to have a permanent loss of taste and smell. Now, if it is associated with COVID-19, all of these will clear within eight days. Some persons earlier than that, most people a little later than that, but almost everybody, almost 98% of people will clear it within 28 days. Now, if you've discovered that it's more than 28 days and you're really sure it's more than 28 days and you've lost your sense of taste and or your sense of smell, for more than 28 days, um, you should see a doctor, specifically doctors that are specialized in taste and smell. So what do you do if you discover you're having difficulty with your sense of smell or your sense of taste? First, protect others because most likely it could be COVID-19, especially if it's sudden and then if you don't have a running nose or blocked nose and then for the fact that we are in the pandemic. So protect yourself, isolate and all that protective and precautionary measures. But most importantly, drink, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. Some persons have experimented with vitamin C. Um, well, there is no harm in that. So take vitamin C, but most importantly, a lot of water, stay hydrated and a lot of fruits, a lot of fruits will help. If you have pain, take pain medicine like ibuprofen. If you have fever, take something like paracetamol. If you have cough, you could get over-the-counter cough medicine. But basically, if all the symptoms are mild, then you take care of yourself at home. However, see your doctor if your symptoms are becoming difficult for you to bear. Like the fever is becoming difficult, the pain is becoming difficult, the cough is becoming difficult for you to bear. Or if you have diabetes or any chronic or serious background illness, make sure you see your doctor if you experience loss of smell or loss of taste. And also, if you are developing severe symptoms like difficulty in breathing or severe chest pain that is refusing to go, see your doctor. If you find this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and check the description section below for a free download titled Fire Your Doctor that will help you to enjoy total health, ideal weight and better sex and you can get it by clicking the link in the description section below. Take charge of your health and happiness and I will see you in the next next one.